Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export highlighted text into a summary page. So the first thing we're going to do is, and this must be done in order for this to work, and it must be done before any of the text is highlighted. Unfortunately, if this preference is not checked before you highlight the text, you're going to have to re-highlight all the selected text in order for this to work. So I'm going to choose Acrobat up at the top and go to Preferences. Now I'm on a Mac. You're going to find this option on a PC under File Preferences. So if you're on a Mac, it's Acrobat Preferences. If you're on a PC, it's File Preferences. So I'm going to choose Preferences. I'm going to make sure the category Commenting is selected. And then I want to click on this last option under Making Comments, and that's Copy Selected Text into Highlight, Strike Through, and Underline Comment Pop-Ups. I'm going to click OK. So then I'm going to go ahead and highlight some text. So I'm going to use my commenting tools and the highlighter to do this. So I'll just go through and highlight some text in various locations. You can see that as I'm highlighting the text over on the right hand side, because I clicked on that preference file, the highlighted text it becomes part of a comment. What I can do from this point is, again, you must have your commenting panel open. And under your commenting list section, there's a little expansion options panel. So I'm going to click on the options panel and choose to create a comment summary. I'm going to click on create comment summary. I'm just going to choose comments only. And what this is going to do is build a separate PDF with just the highlighted text. So I'm going to choose create comment, comment summary. It's going to generate a new PDF and you're going to see the comments or the text that was highlighted and who highlighted the text and the date and time the text was highlighted as well. So that is one great way to highlight text. The other requires running an action and I've received this action from a friend of mine and I will send it to you as well. So again you must have that preference selected so Acrobat Preferences and once you select this once, you're not going to have to check each time. You just need to make sure that common and selected text um, checkbox down below is checked. You highlight your text, then you run the action. Once you install the action, and to install the action, you simply double click on it. You might get some warning messages. That's okay. Just go through installing the action into Acrobat. So once you've installed the action, click on Tools twirl down the actions wizard and there it is it's called create comment summary so I'm gonna click on create comment summary it tells you some instructions and there's a start button so I'm gonna click on the stop start button I'm gonna browse for which uh, for the area that I want to locate the comment summary PDF In this case we'll just put it on my desktop and then I'll run it and you can name it as well so it runs it but as you can see it appears that it did not create a summary but you must click on open summary because this particular action ex exports all of the highlighted text to an Excel file so two different ways to do it one is simply a PDF as a comment summary and the other is to run the action that exports out the comments to a CSV summary that can be opened up in a spreadsheet program. Remember that you must in either case have the preference selected before you highlight text. If it's not selected you're going to have to first turn on the preference and then reselect all your highlighted text for them to be exported out as comment bubbles. So I hope you found this useful. It's Scott Trudeau, um, thanks for viewing the tutorial.